Hey guys, real quick video for you today with a cool little tech tip that we wanted to share. Um, hopefully something that can help you out with your solder jobs. It's a little trick that I've had several people watch me do and say that they thought it was pretty cool and they hadn't thought about it before, so figured we'd share it with you. Uh, so what we're doing here is, a lot of times I'm sure you guys are familiar, see if this focuses here, whenever you're doing some solder work, a lot of times when you're uh, reusing one component and it has a lot of solder left on it, you end up with these nice little globs of solder that are pretty messy. And the worst part about those is sometimes when you have that excess solder, it can run across and make a solder bridge and short out a component. Uh, so if possible, it's always best to clean off as much solder as you can from your services when you're starting to solder new again. Um, many of you guys have maybe seen those little solder suckers, it's like a little spring-loaded pen. So you'll, you'll hold those next to your solder, you heat it up, and then you push a button and it sucks up the uh, liquid solder, and they don't always work so well. So a real quick and easy tip is the following. Um, always want to, of course, tin your soldering iron. But all we're doing is we're just going to heat up the one spot of solder that we're working on, and I apologize, I'm gonna do this away from the camera here because I need to, but all you wanna do is get this good and hot, and then you wanna do it over a garbage can or something, and once it's all melted, you just shake it. You just want to fling it off. So you'll see now, on this one out here, is the one that we cleaned up. So now let's do the center one. So you'll see the little glob of solder on the middle right there. We'll do the same thing. We're just gonna get it good and hot while it's melted. We're going to shake it off, and you'll see now the center one is looking fresh. We'll do the last one, get it hot, give it a good shake, one more for good measure, and there you go. Take seconds, nice, fresh, clean surfaces to solder on, should make your jobs go a lot easier. Hopefully that helps you guys out. I think it's a cool little trick. If you got any questions, please email us, support at rcjuice.com. We'll put a link down in the description. As always, guys, thank you for watching.